So, the whole situation starts with the past. You have the King of Swords coming out here. This is, you know, kings are fixed signs and Taurus. This could be you, right? This could be very, being very clear on what it is that your truth is and what you want. Uh, what you you know what you're standing by what you're not standing for um you may have been very clear about what it is what it is that you will and will not tolerate you're very direct here in the in the in the past and i i really admire that some of you guys you could have been dealing with an air sign a gemini libra aquarius um and you know that's totally cool um totally cool indeed now the thing here is so considering that we're looking at the five of pentacles here there is something that you had to be very serious about you're very serious in the past and that's typically not your energy so i wouldn't like seeing you as the king of swords because like i said it's not your energy and if it was more you know it's not necessarily the most romantic energy either you can be very good with your words but and, and you know but you know as far as king of swords go in, in relationships i'd rather not see the king of swords because he's showing that he has to be serious he has to be direct he's got to be stern now this is something i don't mind you have the queen of wands in the present so there's a lot more passion you get you guys could also be dealing with the um aries leo uh, sagittarius aries leo sagittarius blah um and you know there could be that the more passion you guys could be feeling more passionate there could be some individual is showing their passions they're showing they're being very passionate with you um uh, they could be very stern themselves right now or they're very you know ruthless in getting whatever it is that they want you could be dealing with somebody that's not uh that doesn't really take a lot of bs either um but at the same time i feel like with this person is like they're very social they're very out there um and it feels like maybe with this with with how they are you may have you know not necessarily issues with them but they can they i don't know maybe they flirt outside maybe they don't really you know they they show loyalty in a very off way and i'm not saying that queen of queen of wands shows loyalty in an off way but she is very social like she's a very social out you know person so that can be a little bit hard to kind of to figure out where this is coming from or what's going on I don't think that, I'm not seeing any cheating cards though, so we're not going to go into that because there's no there's no cheating cards here. Um, but however, you have the Eight of Cups, so something leaves you dissatisfied in the future. Something leaves you feeling like, nah, this is really not for me. I'm not really sure if I really want to do this. And you do end up finding another avenue, of course, right? It's, I don't feel like this is a breakup. Usually, there's going to be more cards here to indicate that, but um, um, I do get the card of rejection here. But that's that's I don't. This is in the future. This is in the past. We're here in the present. So with the Eight of Cups, I'm really getting the sense that, you know, yeah, there's something that's just not satisfying for you. You're not pissed off, but you're just not interested in it. So let's move back to the past here. The King of Swords. This is you guys communicating your truth, being very clear what your truth is and making, you know, things happen, being very stern about it. Because internally, there may have been some successful completion, something that's happened that's really we're tying up a cycle right something that you know put is putting a uh, close to a chapter okay um and it made you very serious because uh, i feel i think honestly it's just a closing of a chapter is really big on some scales and there's a, but and it could be great right because you could have been you know gotten together with this individual for those of you that are in a relationship now because of this or you know you've met somebody however there is this this thing right where you know somebody may have been left out in the cold they feel left out in the cold but the five of pentacles could the, could be that um i, I don't want to say straight, straight up rejection i mean there could be rejection here um you may feel rejected which is makes this world thing very weird um but i ultimately feel like honestly to kind of carry on with the story it's almost as if the situation has a lot to be worked on. I feel like you have you had to be serious about your boundaries. You had to be very you know direct with individuals, with this person potentially, because you have boundaries that you need to be maintained. You have a certain way that you know there's certain things that you need, may need in the relationship, communication, support, emotional support. You know you guys may have been maybe uh, broke at some point, but I feel like most importantly, like it's just about you know going through you know certain boundary you know protocols with this individual and i feel like that's what the problem was right it's great like internally you feel good but externally like there's a lot to work with there's a lot to work on 
Okay, but I sense the determination to get through this. I, I sense the diligence and the work that you wanted to put into it, right? Because there's a lot of serious energy. Um, somebody may have been very cold and very detached at the time too, so it may have been really hard to be able to connect with somebody. There was a lack of emotional connection too, potentially because somebody was cold, somebody was attached. This may have been you, Taurus. May have been somebody else. Okay, or maybe it could be you too, right? Um, now. With the Queen of Wands in the present, like I was saying before, somebody bringing the passion back. Somebody's trying to be more passionate. Or somebody is trying to start something. Start, you know, not in a bad way, but they're trying to get some sort of energy admitted, you know, admitted somewhere, right? But internally, you have the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands indicates, you know, defensiveness. Um, this is standing by the relationship, really feeling prideful about the relationship, potentially. Um, standing up for yourself, even. Um, because internally, right, I feel like, well, externally, you have the Four of Pentacles. That's crazy. Not in a, uh, in a super bad way, but y'all, think about this. The Queen of Wands, she don't stay to no comfort zone. This is not her. This is not how she rolls. She doesn't do this. And typically, how she would, you know, operate is stepping outside of her comfort zone. Every time there was a box, she would purposely jump out of it, dressed to spite people. That's what, how I see the Queen of Wands anyway. She'd be like, oh, really? Watch me. She's a traveler. She doesn't stay still. So with the Queen of Wands staying still, there could be that there's this person, there's an individual here in this relationship that may be feeling, feeling a bit smothered or feeling as though they are not doing a lot of things. They could be very bored. You potentially could be very bored right now. The relationship could be dull, but there's this... I don't know, there's something here that's very, you know, uncomfortable, right? This Four of Pentacles. Maybe there's a bit of a discomfort because maybe the fun that's that could be had may be something that's risky, that, you know, something that you, someone's not comf confident about. There could be some confidence in situations, right? Com you know, defensive here and refusing here. That's like, they, it's very weird. It's like, this person's confident in where they are. They're confident in who they are. They're confident in the work that they're doing currently. That, ex that honestly externally looks like somebody's holding on to some pentacles and not, you know, branching out. Someone is kind of not, you know, opening up and having, not open to new ideas. The Queen of Wands wants to do something cool, something new, something fresh, something that's exciting. She's willing to do go out and have a good time. But then there's this weirdness, this weirdness here that's like, I don't feel confident in myself. I don't feel confident in doing that. I don't feel confident in going out and having fun. I don't feel confident in, in you know, ex doing something that will, that can make me happy because I'm, I'm worried about losing what I have here. It's interesting. Let me see what's going on here. Let me take a closer look. Why is the Four of Pentacles coming out? Okay, why is the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands coming out? Because they're practically the same. I mean, defensive, refusing to open up. Ten of Wands. Overburdened responsibilities and commitments. Hmm. That's very interesting, Taurus. Like, this individual is like... I don't know. It's like... Okay, why is the Queen of Wands coming up? Let me see. Hold on a second, y'all. Cards went all over the place. Um, yeah, why is the Queen of Wands here? What's, what's the Queen of Wands? What are we looking at with this Queen of Wands in the present? Well, they're just giving a lack of confidence in the, in the ability in the you know in the ability to go out and step outside the comfort zone. Again, the Four of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands is coming up because of the Four of One Pen Four of Pentacles. Whoa! All right. So okay, so there's a situation going on here where somebody wants to make, someone may be bored, someone may be wanting to do something more, but they are. There's a, some sort of hesitation. They feel vulnerable. Perhaps this 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 energy here with the Queen of Wands is talking about somebody that really is feeling potentially smothered. Someone that really wants to go out and do something that's a bit more passionate, more creative. 
But there, there's a hesitation here. This, this is overburden of responsibility and commitments. And that responsibility and commitments has a lot to, you know, it pretty much is holding them back from being able to enjoy life, enjoy their relationship. Or, or whatever happened with this energy potentially. I don't know. There's like somebody, it's like you guys finally got stability because in the past there wasn't a lot of stability. There was a lot to work on. But then this like, this up maybe there's a new venture. There's something that's going on. And you're worried about opening up about it or talking about it because you don't want to deal with the outcome. You don't want to deal with the, um, the, you know, you want to deal with the aftermath of that. Maybe you don't want to deal with feeling like this again, feeling vulnerable and unsupported. Maybe there's something going on and you're doing something that's creative or this individual is doing something creative, but there's a fear of communicating about it because you don't want to feel like you're vulnerable again or on your own or left out in the cold. This could be to you, Taurus, right? This could be like, this could be you. You could be dealing with somebody shoot to be absolutely honest it could be that you're dealing with somebody that's work wise is very creative very passionate and then it could if you're worried about bringing that up and it can like and this is a, just an example this doesn't apply to everybody but like yeah say you work with somebody that potentially is the opposite sex of you or someone that you find is very attractive or they or your partner finds very attractive but and you have this weird feeling that they make you jealous or there's some sort of you know jealousy jealous energy so they get you know this is you know you're not sure if you can trust this per you know you're sure if you can trust your partner we're talking about it you know what I'm saying? You don't know if you can, you know, you don't know if you can you really open up because this person is very interesting. This is someone that's new. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be that, you know, you may feel this way about someone individual, right? You may feel like this person's coming into the relationship to potentially sabotage and you're not sure if you can communicate that because you don't want to feel like, you know, you don't want to break, break up or you don't want to cause any sort of rift in the relationship. But it's a burden on you. So you, it's like, it's really weird. But for those of you that have nothing, you know, no other person going on or anything like that, you know, the Four of Pentacles to me seems very committed. They're very closed off, but they're really not willing to kind of open up in some ways. They're you know, holding themselves back because they're clinging to what makes them feel stable. But I feel like with this energy, yeah, I feel like this is just something that, you know, that's keeping them from feeling confident about taking another step to, to, to being creative, to, you know, to doing other things. And it's because they feel that there's a lot on their plate. There's a lot on your plate, potentially, too. It may feel, feel burdened. What is this burden? What is the, like, what, it, what do you mean with the Ten of Wands? The page of pentacles. This could be work, guys. And it could be that, yeah, there's a lot of responsibilities, you know, going on. Um, mm. But this is also potentially maybe you want to, you know, move forward. Maybe you want to move forward in a relationship, maybe move forward in the relationship that you're in. But you're also worried that the person may not be ready to commit. So you hold back. And that's a burden because you really want to make the next move. You made all that progress. So I feel like you're in a place where it's stable now. You don't want to, you know, maybe you want to do something that's, you know, move up in, a, in the sense of commitment here. Now, in the future with the Eight of Cups, you do have this Eight of, you know, you know, you just have this feeling of, you know, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I'm interested in this. I don't know if I want this. But this doesn't mean you break up the situation. Or break up with the person, rather. not the, or, the, or, you know, dissolve the relationship. This talks about you just finding other avenues to get what you need. To feel some more uh, fulfilled in the relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, so for a lot of you guys... You may be, you know, you may be contemplating what your true happiness is. And this is going to involve seeing the future with this individual. How do you feel? How do you see the future with this person? Because the three of pentacles is about planning for the future, even uh, recognizing there's a future even to even plan for. So for a lot of you guys, this is about, okay, well, there's some, there's a way, there's something here that I don't like, but I, what, what future do you see with this individual? What real future can you see with this individual? Um, and if this is something that you want to build on, do you have what it takes? Do you have the endurance? Do you have what it, what you need to be able to manifest that into fruition? This says this person shows you that they can be reliable, that they can be trustworthy, that they can be passionate, exciting, and serious when need be to be able to, you know, to develop a relationship with you or whatever requirements you have for a person that you feel needs that the, for the person that you want your partner to be right for wh whoever your ideal partner is. 
you know, are they supportive enough? Are they able to give back enough? Are they self-absorbed? Are they able to, you know, contribute to the bills? Are they able to do et cetera? Are they able to do X, Y, and Z? X, Y, and Z. Either, you know, there's a lot of contemplation here. There's a lot of things that you want to figure out. And the boundaries that you have are great, but they might, you know, with these boundaries, sort of boundaries, you want to look for, you know, some telltale signs. Let me go ahead and pull you guys your romance angels for the week. Oh my gosh, heart to heart conversations. Yeah, the four of pentacles thing is like, somebody's not opening up about something. Somebody's not talking about anything. And yeah, like you have the king of swords in the future, in the past rather, and then boom, you have no communication at all. It's just like holding in energy. And um, that's pretty bad. Like you don't want to hold in all that energy. So cards are conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You may find out some things with this partner. You may find out what's going on. That's you know holding you back, or what's you know holding up the the passion, you know, with this person. Or maybe even you may want to need to offload some things. Maybe there's a lot of stuff that you're doing, and you can't you don't feel like this person may support you because they're very isolated, they're very individual, and they're very they're very focused on themselves potentially. But they they're in it with for you with you. So maybe opening up is a good idea. Um, you know, and then showing that you are available for them if they are the ones that are not communicating, maybe that's what's up. Okay, 